guys, today is a really fun video. I'm going to show you how to make your makeup brushes last a super long time. If you're like me, I spend a lot of money on my makeup brushes and I really like to buy makeup brushes. No matter how many I have, I feel like I need more. And that's a really bad thing. But I just keep on buying them because I really like them. Brushes are so important in the makeup process because if you don't have a good brush, you're not going to get the correct finish from the product. So if you want me to do an entire video on the purpose of the brushes that I have and how like duo fiber, synthetic, natural brushes, all of those, I can totally do that and describe each one of them. I think that would be a really fun video and I really love that kind of stuff. I think it's really important. So. I could do that, let me know in the comments if you want me to do it, but I just want to quickly tell you where I got my makeup brushes, how much they cost, and why I got them. So, my most recent purchase, which I got like a month ago, are the Real Techniques brushes. Now these were designed and created by a fellow YouTuber, Samantha Chapman. She is a huge YouTuber, she actually lives over in the UK and she did a great job with them. They're really popular, they're sold in Ulta, you can get them on Amazon, and they cost $17 I believe. You get this many for um, maybe it's less than 17 It's 10 to 17 and you get this many for that in this cute pouch and you can store them with this. Um, you put them in the little slips. It's really convenient and then just because Taylor Swift used this in her 22 video, I bought this one too. So this is the uh, blush brush, yes. And this was, I believe, $7. So you can find these at Amazon. This is where I bought mine. I don't have an Ulta near me. That's why I couldn't buy them there. But really great brushes, all synthetic. So great product right there. So then I have two sets of Sigma brushes. Now, I love Sigma brushes. They're so popular on YouTube. Lots of people use them. Lots of people love them. They're great quality. So this first pair of Sigma brushes that I bought, I bought it like three or four years ago. And it cost... $36 I want to say and when you spend $30 on Sigma.com you get a free gift so I got one two three four five six seven eight nine brushes comes with eight but the ninth one was a gift if you don't want to spend a lot on brushes but you need good quality brushes this is all you need right here all you need for the last three years these are all the brushes that I used in my makeup tutorials everything so it comes with a foundation brush, a blush brush, another foundation brush, a powder brush, and then a bunch of eye ones. This is perfect. They're great quality. I just, I love them. All you need. I wish I wouldn't have gotten the pink ones because it's not the cutest pink, but it works. And then I got another free one. So it came in this pouch. Great for traveling. This is the travel set. So they have full size of these, which I have, and I'll show you in a minute, but this is the travel size. And then you get this pouch to store them in and to travel with them. So great little bunch right here. All you would need to make every makeup look is right here. So love those. Been using them forever. And then just recently I got the big girl brushes. Now these are cost 100 no they cost 110 dollars but sigma always has a 10 percent off so i'll link that below every month they have it it's a coupon code every single time so don't ever buy anything from sigma without using the 10 percent off so these are the brushes that you get you get a couple face ones a bunch of eye ones in all you get one two three four and 10 11 12 yep you get 12 brushes so great pack if you just want to go ahead spend the money get great brushes for your price these are the ones i recommend i got the black because i think it looks the best they have it in like a turquoise blue that's a hundred dollars for 12 brushes that you'll use like crazy and i love them love them love them love them the last brush i bought was the sigma angle top kabuki f40 f84 and this is a foundation brush i bought it like a year ago and it's all synthetic and it's really really dense it was around i think 15 16 or 17 and it's just one of the best foundation brushes it's super dense super thick so i will leave direct links to all of those brushes and where i bought them so you can just click on the link and go and buy it and now we're gonna go watch the brushes up in my bathroom so let's go so i have all my brushes laid out you're gonna want to put a towel down and have it set against any kind of hard surface so that when we're done with washing our brush we can lay it against that and all the water will go down because we do not want to get water up in the barrel that is a big big no-no and don't get it any water on this part 
of the thing because water can seep in through there. So we want to keep the water from here down and even I try not to get water on here either. As far as what to wash your brushes with, the most popular one is baby shampoo. Anything that is super gentle at washing is what you want to use. So what I have used is I've used baby shampoo. It works really well. But what I really love to use is any kind of lush shampoo, shower gel, anything like that. So for a while, I used the Olive Branch shower gel, which has olive oil in it. So it's also really moisturizing for my brushes. And they don't use any parabens or sulfates or any kind of bad ingredients. So this is why anything from Lush will work really, really well as far as being gentle but still cleaning your brushes. So I used the Olive Branch for a while, but recently I have been using a solid shampoo from Lush. This is the Scenic Solid Shampoo, and basically it's just a shampoo for your hair that has sea salt in it and seaweed, and it's very clarifying, but it's also very gentle. So this is perfect for brushes because it's made for hair, brushes have hair, and then it has sea salt in it, which is very clarifying. We want to get all the gunk and all the dirt out of our brushes, but it's very gentle. I turn on the water, and you want to do just right in the middle water, not too cold and not too hot. So just have it barely going. And one hand you want to keep dry the whole time. So I'm keeping this hand dry. So I'm grabbing my brush. First, I'm going to just get it wet. And then I'm going to dip it into my solid shampoo and as you can see foaming is going on might need a little bit more and there we go so just scrub it for a while. so this hand is completely dry I don't have any water on the barrel there's no water flying everywhere I'm just simply going in circular motions and then I run the water down my hand and I rinse it on this side so I'm not running my brush underwater I'm just running water through it you should wash your brushes about once a week. And there we go, so that is done, and then I usually swirl it in the towel, and then I lay it against the thing. You can leave it like this till it dries. This is a great way all the water will drain out and not up and in. It is perfect, or later I'm gonna show you my dry and shape and how that works. So just keep on doing this until all your brushes are clean. While washing your brushes, you never want to tilt it upward. You want to always have it pointing down so that no water gets up in the barrel. Because if water gets up in the barrel, you're going to loosen your glue and then your brushes are going to fall apart. So that is one of the biggest mistakes people make. So with a smaller brush, I just do the same thing. Get a little circle, get a little of that, do a little scrub-a-dub. Now I take my dry in shape. Now this is by Sigma and basically what it is is a rubber thing that you put your brushes into. You put them into this slot and it helps it dry faster and it shapes the brushes. So what I like to do is I put my brushes in. I just put as many as I can. The bigger ones obviously in the bigger holes. So this is usually one of... Slide it in there, bring it down. And there it is, and then I always put this one in, the biggest one. Okay, and then let's put this blush brush right here. I usually choose the ones that need the most shaping and need to keep their shape. And then I always put my crease brushes in these small ones because they need to keep their shape really well. Dry and shape is full. And now what I do is I turn it upside down and leave it to dry like this. So that all the water is running out, nothing is running back into the thing. So I'll just lay that somewhere. So that is how I wash and dry my brushes. Everything is facing down. No water gets up into the barrel. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope this helped you if you were having brush problems and wondering how to clean them or what brushes to buy. Once again, if you want me to do a video all about brushes, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!